hello friends uh, in this video we will see how a satellite TV works uh, in this video I'll use the example of Indian satellite TV provider that is Tata Sky but then this applies equally to all the uh, other service providers uh, because the principle underneath is still the same okay the diagrams I've taken are from uh, howstuffworks.com uh, in this uh, diagram what you see is uh, all the major components which are involved in uh, getting you the satellite TV signals uh, you see the programming source the broadcast center for your uh, TBS provider uh, the actual satellite uh, your dish antenna and the receiver or the set top box okay now the first one is your programming source this programming source uh, are the broadcast companies which actual uh, which actually provide the uh, the content okay they may provide this content to your satellite tv uh, service provider that is tata sky via their own satellites or via cable or any other means so that is the reason why you see uh, another small uh, satellite here that satellite belongs to the programming source and uh, so your main service provider that is uh, the satellite tv service provider that is the tata sky in this case will have its uh, broadcasting center uh, in the country so for tata sky i think it is in delhi so this broadcast center will collect uh, signals from different programming sources say hbo espn or any other channel okay accumulate it okay and then send the signals over to the satellite okay so the second component here is the broadcast center of your dbs provider that is uh, tata sky in this case and what that does is it accumulates all the signals okay it, it takes them together and compresses it okay the first thing it does it compresses it using uh, mpeg2 technology so using that uh, the size of the signal gets reduced uh, as much as 60 percent okay so now it compresses the signal as well as encrypts it so that no one can uh, you know just uh, take the signal off the air and uh, you know start reading it without paying for it so that is the reason why they encrypt the signal so that these are the two main functions uh, of this broadcast center that is to compress the signals and to encrypt it and then to transmit it to uh, the satellite okay so the third uh, component here is a satellite uh, the satellite uh, which Tata Sky uses is inset 4A okay and uh, that is being uh, operated by uh, ISRO which is a geostationary satellite uh, geostationary satellites as you know uh, appear fixed with respect to any point on the earth and the way uh, that is achieved is the period of revolution uh, of the satellite around the earth is same as the period of rotation of earth around its axis so the net result is to a point on the earth the satellite always uh, appear to be fixed uh, in the air so the satellite the geostationary satellite which Tata Sky uses uh, as I said is inset 4A now this satellite or any other satellite for that matter will have transponders uh, uh, on them so Tata Sky uses around uh, or Tata Sky has leased around uh, 12 transponders from uh, uh, inset 4A so what this transponders uh, uh, do is they receive the signal which is transmitted by the broadcast center right and they retransmit it okay and this retransmitted signal is what uh, your dish or the dish antenna uh, on the roof of your houses receive okay so that is the function of uh, the satellite uh, in this whole uh, cycle okay and this geostationary satellites are operated at height uh, which is greater than 35786 kilometers okay now the next component is your dish like i said dish the main function of uh, dish antenna is to receive the signal transmitted by your satellite i have a separate slide covering the functions of dish antenna so we will discuss it later but what this dish will do is it will take the signals which it received from uh, the satellite and give it to the receiver or the set top box via coaxial cables now the receiver is the fifth component in this uh, chain uh, and receiver will be uh, connected to your TV via HDMI cable or component cables so as you might have guessed the functions of receiver will be uh, the functions will be exactly opposite to what the broadcasting center had done 
that is to decompress and decrypt uh, the signals the process the signals and send it to the TV so uh, it's only at your receiver point <coughs> will you be able to decrypt the signals okay or decompress it uh, this diagram shows you the overall picture of how uh, the content which is provided by channels like say HBO or ESPN is ultimately uh, being shown on your TV I hope that gives uh, a rough idea of how satellite TV works okay so we'll um, see a few more details um, on other aspects of uh, uh, satellite TV this diagram shows you the dish antenna dish antenna consists of two parts one is the parabolic curved shaped surface and the second is this feed horn yeah, the signals that you receive from your satellite are converged by this parabolic surface onto the feed horn so the bigger the area of this parabolic surface uh, the the strength of your signals would increase okay so the feed horn the main functions of the feed horn as you can see is one is it amplifies radio signals whatever signals that are converged onto this feed horn feed horn will receive it and amplify the radio signal since these frequencies are very high frequencies right this feed horn will convert it to a block of low frequency block okay and that is the reason why this part is called low noise block down converter or LNB for short so basically it will convert or convert the block of high frequency band into a block of low frequency band and then pass this low frequency band on to uh, the receiver via coaxial cables and since these are uh, you know low frequency band fre uh, frequencies uh, you cannot have you know uh, unlimited length for your uh, cables because the, uh, because uh, you know as the length of the cables increases uh, the strength of the signal will decrease okay so there is a limit on uh, to the length of cables that you can carry to your receiver but uh, yeah so this is what uh, is the function of your dish antenna right okay uh, this slide shows the electromagnetic spectrum so that uh, you get an idea as to where do the waves that carry your satellite TV signals stand in terms of frequencies and wavelength so as you know the satellite TV signals uh, are part of microwave that is from 10 to the power 9 to 10 to the power 11 and most of the TV channels are uh, part of uh, KU band under this microwave that is from uh, 10 to the power uh, uh, 10 to the power uh, that is 12 gigahertz to uh, around 13 gigahertz one of the property of the electromagnetic waves is that uh, uh, its waves are able to diffract around objects whose size is comparable to the waves wavelength right so if if, if the wave we are talking about is in microwave uh, uh, range that is whose wavelength is 1 centimeter to, to, to 10 centimeter these waves will be able to diffract or bend around objects whose size is 10 cent 1 centimeter to 10 centimeter right so if we talk of long waves that is am in this case these waves will be able to diffract or bend around objects whose size is 10 meter to 100 meter so that's why you will see that you know am receivers you can have am receivers inside your houses because these waves will be able to diffract or bend around your houses or the walls but same is not the case with microwave uh, uh, waves right because uh, the size of its wavelength is 1 centimeter to, to, to 10 centimeter but uh, our walls are obviously thicker than that and uh, they'll not be able to diffract around it so that is the reason why you have uh, 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 your dish antenna outside or onto the roof of your houses and you cannot receive a signal inside this site sethint.com shows all the channels uh, which are or all the signals which are transmitted by inset 4a for Tata Sky uh, but basically this site shows all the uh, satellites that are present and all the uh, satellite TV service provider and details about them so right now I'm showing you the page uh, about Tata Sky so if you see here Tata Sky gets the signals from inset 4a and the position is 83 degree east so um, when you have the dealer of Tata Sky come to your house to install the dish antenna you'll see he carries a magnetic compass with him and uh, you know he tries to find out this degree that is 83 degree east so that is where your uh, dish antenna will be positioned uh, all along 
so to the leftmost side you'll see these are the 12 transponders which uh, Tata Sky have leased from inset 4A and it shows uh, all this details it shows that uh, all the channels belong to the KU band and this transponder for instance carries 17 channel this carries 18 and likewise it is able to do that because of uh, the compression had it been not uncompressed it would have carried uh, fewer channels right so you can go through this site and find out uh, the details or the frequency at which uh, a particular channel is transmitted okay the last thing i want to talk about is the lnb uh, most tata sky uh, lnbs are quad output lnb so you can see there are four outputs here so that effectively means you can connect with one dish antenna you can connect to four different receivers or if your receiver uh, your tata sky has uh, uh, video recording facility that is DVR then you will require two outputs per receiver so in that case you will be able to connect to two different receivers so depending on whether you have DVR or not you will be able to connect two to four uh, uh, receivers right so now is it possible to have uh, you know if you had one output uh, LNB will it be possible to just split the cable and feed it to two different receivers uh, well it is possible but then uh, on both the TVs you'll have to see a single channel that is one receiver always control one LNB output so in that case one of the TV will always follow so that is you'll not be able to change channels on your other TV so the best way to uh, watch your program would be to have it uh, this way that is quad output uh, um, LNBs you can have uh, a bigger antenna you can install uh, many LNBs over the same antenna and you know can have as many uh, LNB outputs but one individual LNB and there are um, octo output LNBs as well but the most common is the quad LNB where you'll get four outputs for LNB okay friends so that's all I had for this presentation thank you and like this video if you found it likeable thanks bye